To carry out a leak test, you will first need to perform a function test and then using this as a base to obtain an open hatch value reading, also known as OHV. An open hatch value is required to ensure that you have a good reading all the way around the hatch seal to be tested. You should start by carrying out a function test. This will provide you with your base readings. Once you have finished your function test, place the generator inside the compartment, ensuring the hatch covers or watertight doors are open. Assemble the extension rod and connect it to the socket on top of the porter scanner receiver. Connect the headphones to the bottom of the receiver, then turn the receiver on. Select the mode zero. Point the wand towards the compartment containing the generator. A loud and clear signal, similar to this, should be heard in the headphone, and visual readings will be seen in the LCD display and the bar graph. The volume buttons may be used to increase the audio signal if required. The gain button may be used to increase the sensitivity of both the visual and audio signal. The gain control is used to enhance the signal when the open hatch reading is lower than the recommended 25% of the function test. Move the rod around the seal of the compartment to check and make sure that you are receiving a strong signal from all sides of the seal. When checking the watertight integrity of hatch covers, take readings from the port, starboard, forward and aft sides of the hatch. If the signal is not heard audibly and seen visually in all places during the check, Move the generator to a different position in the compartment and repeat the check. Check that the open hatch value shown on the LED display is not less than 25% of the function test. The hatch can now be sealed and leak testing can begin. Work your way slowly around each hatch covering, keeping the receiver sensor close to the seal being checked and pointing at where the generator is located inside the hold. It is important to maintain the same volume for the audio and visual signals and the same gain setting for the audio and visual signals as used to obtain the open hatch reading throughout the test. Zero value on the display will indicate leak tightness. If there is a leak, the digital and bar graph readings will increase and the sound in the headphones will increase in intensity. In order to determine a leak, the audio and visual signals must be seen and heard together. The rods should be moved to the area of most intense sound to identify the location of the leak and the length of the seal that is leaking. The larger the leak, the higher the intensity of the audio signal and the larger the numbers and the length of the bar graph on the visual display. If a reading with an audio signal of less than five is obtained, the compartment is watertight. If a reading of less than 100 is obtained, it indicates low compression of the seal but the seal may be considered weathertight. A reading with an audio signal of above 100 will mean a leak has been detected and corrective action will be required. Length of the leaking seal is then marked with chalk. Corrective action may require changing the seal or adjusting the way the hatch cover sits.